spiritual Chuck here. In the winter time, in the southern states, I just watched a video on discernment by the alchemist lady. And man, she's just reeling it off, and it's all making sense. You know, it's it's like I couldn't put it better if I sat down and and you know spent a month trying to write out the the, uh, the intricacies of of spiritual discernment versus you know uh, hyper vigilance. You know, for example. I wouldn't, it'd take me forever, you know, to do it. What I realize is, is that uh, dark room meditation has essentially provided me all of these abilities. Uh, and the, the complexities of all of these abilities and the discernment and the, and the subtleness and the the spiritual acuum or whatever you want to call it, you know, it's like the sensitivities of what's going on. And it's like, so I don't have to, I don't have to articulate all of that. You know, it's like, I can't, I don't want to. It's not, it's more mind games, you know. To be able to articulate, it's nice to be able to articulate it. Uh, if you want to help someone else understand it, but then again, you know, you can help someone understand it, but are they going to understand it, or are they just going to experience it, and then, then they'll understand the description. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Be still and know that I'm God. And through being still, it's like all of this is articulated and it's prioritized or realized or actualized.